the reason why this story is not getting the coverage or the investigation that needs to happen is because the person that she was dealing with that has ties and connection to this is possibly whoa whoa spirit okay all right this is about to be deep you guys the person that she was dealing with your favorite psychic medium i am able to go into the realm of death to connect with spirits that are sometimes nice and sometimes not so much so in this tell my story edition i will be connecting with the energy of alexis war okay many of you have asked me to do this tell my story edition now if you're not familiar with the story this story um has brought a lot of attention a lot of energy into um south carolina now, with this Tell My Edition story, I will be connecting with the energy of spirit. So, if you are new to this, I am a channeler and I am able to connect with these rims. Please enter at your own risk. Now, all of this information is alleged and I am connecting with spirit that will bring forth information. Okay, so in this Tell My Story Edition, Alexis is here. And what I am picking up on is that, that she is literally... Um, fighting someone okay there is a conflict that she is fighting someone now i do see her walking through uh woods through these trees through these bushes okay this area is like a high wooded area that i'm seeing her walk through and i'm seeing her hands behind her back i am seeing her in handcuffs now this is something that might be new to you guys but i am seeing her hands in handcuffs and she's walking in this wooded area I am also seeing that, um, wow, Ooh. first off, when I do these Tell My Story editions, these stories are very intense, okay? A lot of this information will be information that you will not see, okay, or have heard of from various news sources or outlets that's because I am channeling now what I am seeing for Alexis is that she is um I'm seeing her oh my gosh I'm seeing her in like these comfortable shoes okay I'm seeing her with Crocs on her feet okay these I'm seeing her with I'm seeing her with Crocs on her what she's describing to me is these Crocs on her feet and I am also seeing that um she has like some jeans or like loose pants on okay i am also seeing that she is walking through this wooded area okay and someone has her but with her hands behind her back um, when she left her place she left and thought she was safe with someone now wow okay spirit is bringing forth this in this information the person that she's connected to um with this situation i am seeing that this person wow is connected to the authorities this person that she's dealing with <laughs> that she is telling me is that he is an officer he is he's an officer he is an officer and this is someone that it's a big guy. She, okay, so she what she's describing is she met him through going out through a social situation, okay? She is a, a full of life girl, okay? She loves to, to socialize, to connect with people. She's all about her, her business, but she's all about her children, but she's all about her social life as well. And saying she told me that she met this guy at a bar and they were they were hanging out okay at a social event and they were having drinks 
and this guy was interested and he was a low-key guy but he worked in the authorities she's saying that he's a dark skin he's big and bulky and he had these glasses on and she was drawn to his energy okay she was drawn to him because she likes to date bigger guys she likes to date bigger guys that are more stockier that are bigger that um she can feel safe with so she's describing to me that this guy was bigger in style and the reason why this investigation is not getting the coverage that it's, it needs is because it is connected to someone in a position that has stopped this information from coming forth. Wow. She is showing me that she's been walked through the woods and I see her with handcuffs on. So where her vehicle was located, her red vehicle, what she's describing, where her vehicle was located, she is not that far from that vehicle. She was not that far and they know it. They are aware of it. The reason why they want to investigate it is because there are people that are on deck that... Um, has really misled and tried to cover up this information and has tried their best to stop this information from um, being uncovered. There are a lot of things that, okay, so when her car was taken, okay, they, she's describing to me that the story was thrown off because they want you to be confused about her going to many different locations making it seem as though she had a mental illness or a breakdown or condition a condition that will cause her to do all of these crazy things but that is not true that is not the truth the truth is that she was abducted she was taken from her place and also she knew this person she knew the person that she was with. She did not want to be with this person the way that what she's describing, that it was passionate energy, passionate, passionate connection around this relationship, but she did not want to be with this person. And now the people that are antagonizing um, around this situation, trying to antagonize family members and all of these things, that is just a ploy to try to just play mind games and tricks. But she was walking through the wooded area. And I am seeing her being told to, to get on her knees. And then I'm seeing horrible things after that. So many, so, there's so many things that I will not even talk about on this platform. Because I just, it's too much. But her soul is describing to me what is taking place what is happening oh my gosh she was in that area and i feel so sorry for this situation and so sad and connecting this energy because it's not going to move past this point because there's a lot of there are a lot of authorities higher ups that are blocking this information from coming forth and i asked spirit and i asked um, the ancestors and the spirit guys to guide her along this journey. This is so messed up in this situation. You guys don't understand. This is so messed up. She was not crazy. She was not having a mental breakdown. She knew what was coming. She she was fully aware of what was going on because this person is very was very aggressive with her she did not think that this was going to lead to this form of aggression because she thought everything she considers herself like a big girl she's like i consider myself a, as a girl that can handle her own so i don't I, I didn't go into thinking that i would be in any sort of harm but i just didn't know how deep i was now she's also saying that she was being asked to do things like do things with illegal drugs with things um and she didn't want to play that role anymore she didn't want to do that anymore she wanted to back out of it but in order for her to back out of it it was going to cost her 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 life and she knew that so she decided because this person was so involved and so connected to the streets and had so many ties it's a well-renowned person that everyone knows that she did not she didn't want to spill. She couldn't spill the beans. It was like either expose this person. It was like she was trying to back out of it. So this person was like, well, you can't back out of it because they. she knew who she was dealing with. So either expose the person or like she couldn't expose the person. She couldn't back out of it. She thought that she could, but she couldn't. 
She couldn't back out of out of it because it would have exposed this person of who she was dealing with and who had her doing these various things through illegal activities. And I send my love, my healing energy, the ancestors of spirit guys. May you guys light a candle for her, light some light for her, show her some love, give her prayer and support and give um, guidance. But in this reading, you guys, this is very, very deep. I can't even go into the how deep it is. But what she's describing to me is that she was in the area. She did and she was wearing um, some crops. So if you do um, see any like pink or orange crops that she has she has them like on her feet if you see that that is an indication that she is in that area she was very close by where her car was and um, she was not delusional she was not going crazy that was all a ploy to make it seem it was part of it like a story but that was not the case so I want to thank you guys for aligning with Ariana. If you would like your own personal reading, please visit www.alignwithariana.com and also follow me on my social media platforms at I am aligned with Ariana. For more details, for more goodies, for more working your magic, peace, love, why do? sure to hit that subscribe button and also be sure to turn on the notification bell for videos every week.